Hey, Steve here from Vegas Westside Shooters, uh, and uh, I'm excited to bring a, a short review and uh, unboxing with uh, first shots on our new Smith & Wesson uh, Model 629 Revolver uh, 44 Magnum with a 6-inch barrel. Uh, purchased it yesterday at Sportsman's Warehouse, and we're super excited to give it a try out at the range this week. Uh, so you can see it actually comes pretty nice, uh, handy, plastic, hard plastic shell case that says Smith & Wesson on the front there. Um, it stands up all by itself, so it's kind of a cool case. Uh, it's pretty spartan. It doesn't come with a whole heck of a lot more than that. So let's open it up and show you what you got in here. So when you open the box, you have a little pocket here, not a whole lot. You have a, a standard owner's manual uh, for the revolver. You have the customary uh, firearm lock, uh, with which I now have uh, a multitude of unused, unopened locks. Um, and then it also comes with these little keys uh, for this uh, interesting feature in this gun, which you are actually able to uh, lock this gun. There's an internal lock on the gun, so you can actually lock the gun, uh, and then it cannot be fired until it's unlocked. Uh, so that's what these little jobbies are for. Uh, and then, of course, there it is. The Smith & Wesson Model 629 six-shot revolver, six-inch barrel in a 44 Magnum. So, here you go. You can see it's unloaded. I mean, I haven't taken it out of the box, so I was pretty confident it was unloaded. Uh, six six uh, cylinders, uh, beautiful rotating cylinder there. It's in stainless steel with a sort of a rubber Hogue grip. Um, it has a very, very nice set of sights for a revolver. It has the, um, in the, in the notch there, I think you can see it's got a little outline in white, and then in the front it's got the uh, ramped uh, sight with the red, which makes for a very nice sight picture. Uh, this firearm also is uh, double action over single action, so it has a very nice smooth double action pull and also has the ability to cock it and fire in single action. Uh, also very smooth. So uh, we're going to test it out. We'll test its accuracy. We're going to uh, test its um, the, the uh, energy out of the muzzle uh, with both 44 Special and 44 Magnum and uh, I'm hoping to also test the uh, trigger pull. I'm waiting on my new Lyman trigger gauge. Uh, if that shows up in time for the review, we'll do that and uh, we'll see you out at the range. Thanks for watching. Hey, this is Steve from Vegas Westside Shooters and uh, before I get started on my review today, I just wanted to uh, show everybody uh, one of the great things about Vegas, everybody thinks we all live on the Strip, uh, but uh, there's a lot of suburban areas, <clears throat> and this is in our back backyard here. Uh, this is the view from the shooting range where I'm going to do my shooting. That's Red Rocks National Park, uh, and uh, you can't beat that view. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the review today. All right, we're going to start off with some 44 Special. These are uh, flat nose uh, lead rounds from uh, HSM Cowboy Action. And then we're going to follow up with some Magnum rounds from uh, Winchester uh, 44 Magnum. And uh, we'll see how we do from about 10 yards.
I'm going to shoot. Uh, I'm going to try to shoot a five-shot group uh, with the th with the 44 special from the bench. Again, this is the HSM Cowboy action. center of the target. See how we did. On the 25 yard shooting. Didn't come too close to the front of the target, uh, but with my not very good uh, 52 year old eyesight uh, and the fact that I was 25 yards away with the iron sights and an amateur shooter, I'll, I'll take that any day. Five shots, at least in a torso uh, with 44 special, not too bad. The freehand group. From 10 yards, two, three, three in the center, one on the line, the vast majority of them in the nine ring, and only one flyer. So I'm going to say, <clears throat> as far as accuracy goes, I think, uh, I think I can't really complain about this pistol right out of the box. I haven't even uh, tried to sight it in or anything. I think the accuracy is pretty good. I certainly think the action is smooth. Uh, the trigger uh, is a very smooth trigger in single action. It's pretty heavy in double action. Uh, I measured it on my Lyman digital gauge. It's about it's about 11 and three quarters pounds on the double action, only five pounds on the single action. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you back at the see you back in the garage, and uh, we'll chat about this pistol. Okay. Uh, just for fun, since we're out here doing a different video with the chronograph, I thought I would just uh, shoot the 44 special and 44 mag to see what kind of energy we're getting out of this. So we're going to start with uh, three rounds of the special. This is that's HSM 200 grain 44 special. Cowboy. This is a Cowboy 44 Magnum, 240 grain. Let's see what this does. So, around 1200. That's a bigger bullet. Going a heck of a lot faster. Let's see about the uh, Winchester 44 grain. These are jacketed soft point uh, deer and bear hunting rounds. What do you think? Can this stuff a bear? Let's see. See what this stuff does. So that's 
close to 1400 rounds. Excuse me, 1400 feet per second. 240 grain bullet. And with enough of a pressure coming out of it that it knocked the sunshade off the chronometer, uh, even though I didn't hit the chronometer, and that was just the, uh, the power of that bullet <coughs> coming out of that muzzle less than three feet away going through that chronometer. So uh, that's a pretty good power. Uh, I don't think I'd want to be a bear at the other end of that. <coughs> All right, so we're back from the range with our uh, first shooting of the Smith & Wesson 629 uh, 44 Special slash 44 Magnum revolver <coughs> at the range. Uh, and uh, it shot really nicely. Uh, I'm very uh, satisfied with uh, the uh, the action, the the function of the gun. Uh, I thought the accuracy with the 44 Special from 15 yards, uh, just shooting uh, offhand, was was very reasonable and acceptable. Uh, I put uh, several of them in the in the orange ring, uh, and all but one shot were within the the nine ring. That included the 44 Magnum. Uh, and I'm not the best shot in the world, and uh, when I wear the eye protection over my eyeglasses, uh, I don't see as well either. So for me to shoot that well, this this is a pretty accurate gun, and I'm sure a good a good marksman would uh, would have smoked me on that one. Uh, and uh, as you saw from the uh, from the chronometer, this uh, this thing shooting 44 Magnum puts out a boatload of energy. Uh, this is a pretty uh, phenomenal phenomenal uh, amount of power coming out of this firearm. Uh, I did want to show, so it is it is uh, double action over single action. Okay, weapons cleared. So that means that you can either, uh, with a hammer down and a full strength pull, do a double action, or you can pre-cock the hammer and get a very smooth single action shot. Uh, I did bring out my uh, Lyman digital uh, trigger gauge so you can see the pull. And uh, first we'll do the uh, first we're going to do the double action pull. Okay, so that exceeded the uh, 12 pound <coughs> maximum, uh, which is not surprising in a in a heavy 44 Magnum uh, double action trigger. Uh, it's still a very very smooth trigger. You can see there's just immediate uptake and a very smooth pull until the hammer releases. It doesn't feel overly heavy, uh, certainly not for a, a double, age, re double action revolver. As far as the single action goes, let's see how the single action trigger does. Oh, wasn't ready, sorry. Try that again. There we go. So, Four pounds, 13 ounces for that, and we'll try it one more time. Let's just get an accurate reading here. So four pounds, 11 ounces. So I'm going to say that <coughs> between four and a half and five pounds on the single action, very smooth trigger. Uh, over 12 pounds on the double action, but again, still a very smooth trigger. And uh, I don't know, from my own perspective, you're shooting a big weapon like this, uh, you certainly don't want an accidental discharge. So having a heavier uh, double action pull uh, is a safety feature. Uh, you would not want this in a holster to go off and shoot you in the leg with a 44 Magnum. Uh, you wouldn't get out of the woods, I don't think. Anyways, uh, so that's my uh, beginner's review with this uh, uh, Smith & Wesson 629 44 Special slash 44 Magnum. Uh, my, own, my own take on this is it's a really a smooth firing gun. It has very manageable recoil. I mean, it's shooting a very powerful round. Uh, I felt very comfortable with the recoil. Uh, the 44 Special is a, is a pussycat coming out of this thing. The 44 Magnum is not a pussycat, but it is, it is manageable. And I would feel very comfortable having this as my emergency sidearm if I were hunting. Uh, in case uh, you turn around and, and you find a black bear coming at you, I would feel comfortable being able to uh, get this unholstered and get it on target. Uh, and get a couple of rounds in it, uh, hopefully. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any constructive comments, feel free to post them. And uh, 
As always, thanks for watching. This is Steve from Vegas Westside Shooters.